The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden Mobile video. Guys, today we have a whole bunch of packs that I've saved up that I want to open up today. It is Sunday morning, so what I'm looking for, guys, is any of the good all-pro players that you can pull out of these all-pro packs. I think I've saved uh, 22 of them, I believe. I believe it's, yeah, 22 of those, and then I've also got eight all-pro packs here. So we're going to open up all of those and see if we can get anything good out of them. So why don't we start off the all-pro packs because these things have been burning a hole in my pocket for way too long. So I want to try and get one of those, uh, any of these Beast All-Pro players, or like I said, um, there's also still the Ultimate Legends that got added to the game as well. So let's see if we can get anything good here, guys. We have already pulled some good stuff on Mad Mobile, so I'm feeling like there's a good possibility here. So uh, do get two golds per pack, by the way, guys, if you don't remember, out of the All-Pro packs. So there's a good possibility that we'll get something out of these. Or I shouldn't say a good, a decent possibility. All right. Nothing so far out of the All-Pro packs. I'm not really expecting anything amazing out of them, but I would love to get something good. That would be great. So far, not much out of these. Nick Perry on that one. Come on, guys. We got to get something good. Let's go. Let's go. Get a fullback there. Roosevelt Knicks. Okay, Duke Johnson. Getting what? Actually, I think it's three golds, if I remember correctly, actually, out of these all-pro packs. Unless I'm just getting super lucky. I think it's three golds out of them. So there's a decent number of slots that you could potentially get. One of the legend players. We actually get four golds out of that one. Continuing on here. Nothing good so far. Let's see here. One, two, three. Actually, it might be four golds. I am just changing the number every pack, it seems like. So I think it is actually four golds out of the all pro packs. We've only got two more left. So probably not going to pull anything out of these. Haven't even gotten a freaking base elite, unfortunately. Yeah, another four golds there. So... Unfortunately, guys, it looks like the all pro packs are going to be kind of a dud, but the are the all pro packs. Uh, yeah, the all pro packs, excuse me, are going to be kind of a dud. So we do end up getting here um, a season star Isaiah Crowell, which again, I don't think those are really going for a whole lot. So really not much out of the all pro packs, unfortunately, but we do have the all pro team packs and these ones now you can get some really good stuff out of. So hopefully we'll get some of these all pro elite players. I haven't pulled one yet. But I'm really hoping that being the fact that we've pulled, uh, we bought so many of these packs today that maybe we can at least get one. Start off uh, slowly there with just the half pack collectible. You do get one of the collectibles each pack guaranteed. We just need one of those freaking players, man. Unfortunately, we're not really getting anything so far out of these packs. Still holding out hope, though. Still holding out hope. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Every time we get an elite pull... I always think it's going to be something beastly. We do get a Malcolm Jenkins here. Um, this is just a base elite Malcolm Jenkins, 85 overall. Nothing really special there. But it's our first actual elite card out of this pack opening video. Pretty crazy. All right, coming, continuing on. We do get the quarterback collectible there. We get an ultimate legend badge. That's not bad. I didn't even know these would be in packs uh, other than ultimate legend packs. I'm kind of surprised. I, I had no idea that those were in packs like that. So that's actually pretty nice. I'm very happy about pulling that. Continuing on. Another all-pro team pack, and we get a Chris Harris Jr. 87 overall. Not bad. And the linebacker collectible, okay. Not bad, not bad. Not really anything super spectacular there, but definitely something decent. We get a Marcus Cooper season stars. 85 speed, not really anything great there, unfortunately. Come on. Got to get one of these elite players, man. Got to get one of the elite players. Got to, got to, got to. Haven't gotten anything so far, but we're getting a ton of the collectibles, so maybe we'll be able to turn those around and get us something good. I don't know how that will work. I haven't really looked into the sets to see exactly how that works. Um, usually, these collectibles, though, aren't really worth a whole lot unless you're uh, really going to grind it, so I don't know if that'll be happening or what, but we really haven't gotten anything really spectacular so far. We've got, what, 13 more of these packs left. And by the way, guys, I've saved up a whole crap load of these large quick sells. I keep calling them large quick sells, just quick sells, because a lot of them are going to be garbage. But eventually, I will be doing a pretty large, a pretty large quick sell video, uh, and maybe we'll get something good out of that. But uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below, or you think I should save up for like, I don't know, 50 of them, 75, 100 of them. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that. Continuing on with the all-pro team packs. Really haven't gotten anything good at all yet, unfortunately. Wide receiver collectible there. 
Man, these things are dry. These are really, really dry. I've spent, I spent like what, 600,000 coins on these and I don't think I've hit anything worth more than 10K. So that is pretty brutal so far, guys. Good thing I've got plenty of coins though. Make sure that you guys go check out instantmaddencoins.com if you want to buy some coins on Madden Mobile. Don't open up packs. Just buy the damn cards that you want. I do this for fun, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we do get a Jamal Charles here. Really not anything great out of these, unfortunately. Continuing on. Got to try and get something good here, man. It's just been so dry. It's disgusting. Six more of these packs left. If we don't pull an elite, man, I, I am just going to recommend that nobody pulls these packs. These things are freaking terrible. Sorry, we had six more now. Ugh, these are some awful packs so far, boys. Really, really awful. All pro tackle card. Still no players at all, unfortunately. Man, this is really, really rough right now. After this, we'll have to go take a look at the sets and see if there's anything that'll even give us anything good out of these all pro packs. Uh, out of the all pro team packs, excuse me. Quarterback collectible. I don't think the position is really worth anything more than the others, unfortunately. So, uh, oh man. Cornerback one there. Two more of these AIDS packs left, guys. <laughs> this is really, really rough. I apologize, but at least you're seeing kind of what you get out of these packs. Even when you buy a decent number of them, it does not look like you get much, unfortunately. So, uh, this is going to be the last one, guys. And we just get shit on again. 20 two of those packs and we get no elites all pro packs open up eight of those no elites all right no elite uh, all pro players at least so there you have it guys i mean that is pretty damn bad i have to say it is pretty damn awful so uh let's go in and take a look at the sets and see if there's anything decent um that we can potentially get for these all pro collectibles so uh it takes 12 oh my gosh takes 12 elite players which we got zero of to get you a 99 overall marcus peters that's crazy okay um you get let's see here if you have 10 of the all pro collectibles you can get yourself a non-auctionable non-tradable i guess non-tradable is implied in madden mobile but non-auctionable uh all pro defensive player so maybe you can put it into sets i don't know if if that's the deal i wonder if you can put it into sets if it says non-auctionable i believe you can't put it into sets I could be wrong on that. Maybe you guys will have to let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you think I should go that route or what. See this one here. Um, this one's just an exchange pack for the collectibles. So not really anything there. Let's see. What is this? This saying, put two all pro collectibles to earn one all pro collectible with a chance at an all pro elite player. These packs, like these things are freaking eight. That is just terrible, man. I have no words for that. So... Let me know, guys, what you think I should do with those in the comments section below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, even though we didn't really pull anything good. I really, really highly recommend not spending your coins on these packs. But you guys will have to let me know in the comments section below if you pulled anything good out of your packs. Because maybe you did. Maybe I just have bad luck. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.